you are! Pervy Sage, when are we gonna start training? Hang on a second. Just let me finish this paragraph. What are you writing? Oh, well, uh, I'm writing about my life. It's called The Tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Your life? The meetings, farewells, and various other happenings. I'm bringing them together in ink, along with what I've learned and which paths I've taken. Hmm. This will be the ultimate novel. I'm pouring my soul into it. So? And you're still not finished? When I'm finished writing this, everything will be finished. When I find someone to inherit my will, and I feel I've properly passed it on... Well... <laughs> I guess I'm not even close to finishing it. Uh, all this inherit your will talk? It's just making me confused. One to inherit my will. Perhaps that would be... Huh? What? <laughs> At any rate, I suppose that's enough writing for now. Next up... <laughs> Time to start training, huh? Time to get to the mixed bathing hot spring to find some material for the next installment of my makeout series. Uh, I thought you'd say training! You're still hung up on this mushy makeout material! Watch your tongue, boy! This sacred writing is nothing to make light of! How about some training already? Enough! I'm in charge and I will spar with you some other time! That's what you said last time and the time before that! So long, sir. Time certainly does fly, doesn't it? Seems like only yesterday we had that chat. Now my student has grown, and I'm getting old. I still don't know what lies ahead for me, but it's time to move forward. then. I'll continue when I get back. The final chapter. I suppose it's time to begin. Come to think of it, I've had a lot of apprentices in my time. Even students from other villages. Even one who went on to become the Hokage. But of all of them, the one who really took the cake, the crudest, most annoying, and stupidest of them all, was Naruto Uzumaki. Well, on top of that, because he had the Nine Tails sealed inside him, the deadly Akatsuki organization was after him. I decided to teach Naruto a new jutsu, so he'd be able to defend himself. That jutsu was called the Rasengan, created long ago by Naruto's father, Minato, the fourth Hokage. Now his son, Naruto, would have to master it. I felt the strong, time-tested bond between them, and I began Naruto's lessons. Everyone's gonna be so surprised when they see my new jutsu! They'll finally have to accept me! Well, you certainly have the enthusiasm. But first, let's see exactly what you can do. Let the battle begin! Use 
Hmm. I look forward to your future development. Yeah, future. Naruto's strength back then, I suppose it was just about what I expected. But inside him was a strong will to move forward to the next level. Strength of will is the most vital thing for a ninja. With a strong will, there's no limit to how far one can go. After our training, Naruto steadily continued to grow. Part of him just wanted to get stronger. But the most important thing driving him forward was the thought of his friend and greatest rival. Nothing facilitates training so much as the presence of a rival. The bonds of friendship are vital to developing character. Naturally, after his friend Sasuke Uchiha left the leaf, Naruto vowed in his heart to follow, no matter the cost. It was for this reason that he underwent three hard years of training with me. Time passed. Time matured Naruto, both in body and in mind. Was he strong enough now for real combat? I needed to test him for myself. Now then, time for your final lesson. It's time you prove to me, in battle, just how much you've learned. <laughs> then I hope you're ready for a clinic! Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Let the battle begin! <laughs>
Naturally, even though he had matured, Naruto was unable to defeat me. But it was true. He really had come far. There were still areas he needed to work on, but he got a passing grade. Naruto Uzumaki. If I may say so about my own apprentice, I know he walks the straight and narrow. Of all my apprentices, you really were the crudest, most annoying, and stupidest of all. But you were also the strongest. You were a ninja. I had a student who would carry on my legacy. I knew it. With... The village hidden in the rain. As soon as I heard that the Akatsuki's leader was hiding out there, I rushed over to learn more. It was a long time ago, but there were three children here who trained for a short time as my apprentices. They all cared for each other deeply, and I'd been certain they could lead us all to peace through their example. However, I never thought I would meet them again under conditions like these. One of my apprentices, Konan, now a member of the Akatsuki, appeared in front of me. Worshipping the leader of the Akatsuki as her god, Konan had all but lost the warmth I remembered in her heart. The Konan I knew, had she surrendered to darkness. As her teacher, the least that I could do was perform her final rites. My determination could not waver. If you're here, then are the other two here as well? Knowing that would be pointless. Your life ends here. Well, well, listen to you, Conan.
No matter how far she had fallen, fighting one of my own apprentices was painful for me. But my feelings could help no one now. Feeling sympathy for the Akatsuki would be futile. As my fight with Conan intensified, he finally appeared. The Akatsuki leader, Pain. He stood before me calmly. Pain. His true identity was Nagato, just as I'd expected. Like Conan, Nagato had once been an apprentice of mine. He had awakened the most powerful of the visual jutsu, the Rinnegan. Why? Why would someone with such promise surrender to the darkness of the Akatsuki? And more importantly, why had all the pains I'd seen, not just Nagato, carried the Rinnegan? My heart was troubled. But there was one thing I did understand. The time for explanations was past. I had to stop him. Stop Nagato. Stop pain. He may have been my student, but as an opponent, his strength rivaled my own. To win, I would need everything I had. In order to bring all my strength to bear against him, I summoned the two great sage toads and entered sage mode. This would be the decisive battle. Pain, or should I say Nagato? What have you done? Sensei, you are merely human, but I am no longer a prisoner of humanity. I have become one who will show the way, a god. A god? You've got to be kidding me. As your god, allow me to grant you pain. Then the time for words is past. No more holding back. Nagato, I end your life today. Victory went to me. Though I pushed my chakra to the limit and my wounds were great, all that mattered was pain was defeated. I thank the two great sage toads. The battle was over. I could finally return to the hidden leaf.
Or so I thought. He stood there. Pain stood in my way once more, as if nothing had happened. How had he done it? Why was he untouched? With the last of my chakra, what else could I do? Give up. You can't win. No. I've still got some fight left in me. You don't know when to quit, old man. What's the point? If I can defeat just one... Fine. Your destiny is to die here. <gasps> thought you'd hold on this long. Well done, Sensei. It's no good. I'm losing consciousness. Am I going to die? I'm... Never go back on my word! Never! That's my ninja way! Until I become Hokage, there's no way I'm gonna die! If being smarter means what you say it does, I'll remain a fool my entire life! Naruto. Yes. I remember Naruto. You never give up. And being your master, I have no business whining. As everyone knows, a student inherits his ninja away from his teacher. Right, Naruto? Just what I'd expect from you, Sensei. Give it up. There's nothing left you can do. to make me give up! Ah! It's finished. I guess this is the end of the tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Looking back, my life has been nothing but failure. Rejected by Tsunade. Unable to stop my friend. Unable to protect either my student or my teacher. Compared to the great deeds of the Hokage, my actions are trifling, insignificant things indeed. And I have no legacy. No, that's not true. I... I have found someone to inherit my will so I can rest easy. Right, Naruto. Sharing, laughs, being with you is what gave me the strength to walk this path for so long. Thanks to your existence, my life really wasn't that terrible. My final chapter, a story of the frog in the well that knows nothing of the great ocean. <laughs> Just barely glorious, but glorious indeed. The story has come to an end. Now, it's about time I put down my pen. Oh, that's right. What should I name the sequel, I wonder? Let's see. The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki. Yes, that has a nice ring to it.